But let me start this video off by saying, Arsenal, there's more heartbreak to come. Can't say never warned you. Can't say never warned you. And for everybody watching this right now, can't say never warned you that City are cooking. I told you for the Wolves game that we're cooking spaghetti and meatballs, right? For the Arsenal FA Cup fourth round fixture, lasagna. And that's exactly what we were served, lasagna. Give it up to Pep. Give it up to the boys. Congratulations. We're through to the next round. Hard luck to Arsenal. Yet another trophy that they won't win this season. So, are they going to win the Premier League? One team that's standing Arsenal's way, Manchester City. Man City. Man City. No other team. Not Liverpool. Not Manchester United. Not Chelsea. Not Spurs. But City. Wasn't the most convincing win. But at the same time, I think it was a pretty even game. Because for Arsenal, they had their, their, their strategy. They had a tactic that they weren't going to be overly attacking and overly expansive, right? They were when they conceded. But their goal was to just stay in the game, stay compact, press, frustrate Manchester City. And they did that. They did that for the first half. And I think they held their own. And whenever they attacked, they looked good to Chosard, you know, Saka and Ketia. But Chosard, I think, was a player that, you know, scared me the most when he, he went forward. You know, Tomiyasu with an early strike saved by Ortega and that's that saved by Ortega from that Chosard shot man maybe if that's Edison maybe it's if it's Edison it goes into the back of the net but you know Haaland not a lot of chances you know what I mean um Kevin De Bruyne a left footed shot that went wide Mara's not really you know creative on his day Grealish I think played really well picked up the assist for the Nathan Ake goal in the second half Hard luck to John Stones who picked up an injury. But from the get-go, guys, you could see that Pep Guardiola showed way more intent, you know, with his starting 11, putting out what is possibly, probably his best 11 right now. I know you could have multiple combinations and still have a very good Manchester City team, but on merit, this was one of the better teams. And Arsenal, they did not play their strongest team. And... I'm not gonna say that's the reason why City won or whatever. We're gonna we're gonna find out when the two teams meet at the the the, the Emirates a couple weeks from now, and then at the Etihad, we will find out. But listen, it's up to the manager to put out the team that he feels could get the best you know result on the day. And Arteta, at the end of the day, maybe you could say he got it wrong. Maybe he should have put out his best possible team, and you know see if they could get the result. But maybe maybe. He doesn't want to risk it all because taking a party, you know, shows that he doesn't really want to risk some of his key players not starting Odegaard. You know what I mean? Just not starting Martinelli, just rotating the team, not starting Zinchenko, not starting Saliba. So not starting, you know, it could say Ramsdale. Because he could have thrown Ramsdale in there. So you could say Arteta, I think, you know, I'm not going to say he took it lightly, but he did not put out his best 11. But Pep wanted to make a statement. He did not want to get beaten by his student, Arteta. And he wanted that psychological advantage going into these league matches that's coming up. Going into the next game that Manchester City and Arsenal have to play against each other. So that's where, you know, Pep goes into that game now feeling more assured. And, you know, have the advantage over his student, Mikel Arteta. And talking about student... Arsenal, they were schooled. They were schooled on the day. You know what I mean? Ake, really good right footed shot. You know, he's a left footed player. Grealish, you know, really good work after Julian Alvarez, who came off the bench, hit the post. And I like the directness from Alvarez. You know, something that we didn't have from the other players. You know, taking a, a shot from distance, hit the, the, the upright pretty good. I, I think Matt Turner was very, you know, assertive on the day, very decisive as well. So. Give it up to American, um, the American goalkeeper there. You know, I think he did a good job and couldn't do anything with that goal. But, you know, the one moment of quality was the telling, the telling blow for Arsenal. 
and they themselves could not produce that moment of quality on their day. I think Saka didn't have the best of game. I think, um, you know, Nathan Ake handled him very, very well. And after Man City scored, Arsenal, they, 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 they had to open up their game a bit more. And even opening up their game, they weren't left exposed too many times. It shows how good the team has, you know, they have been this season in defense and going forward. But I think when the changes were made, when Partey came off and Lukanga came on, you know, you saw the weakness in, in this Arsenal, Arsenal team. <clears throat> and that's why they're going, they're trying to get another midfielder because Albert Sambi Lukanga, it has not really worked out for him. He, he's kind of soft, you know what I'm saying? And he doesn't really know his positioning very, very well. He's not very good defensively. And that is something that Moises Caicedo, who's an absolute beast, could, you know, could give Arsenal if they do manage to sign him. And that's what Partey gives Arsenal. You know, but overall, guys, I'm happy. Just a quick reaction. You know, just got out of work. And I figure I talk about the game right now or else I might not get to do it. Okay, so I feel good about the win. We move on to the next round of the FA Cup fixtures are coming up this weekend. I really don't care what happened, to be honest. I just care that Man City defeated Arsenal and we get that psychological advantage going into the league match because best believe we are coming for you, Arsenal. We are coming for you. You're five points ahead with a game in hand. Best believe we're coming for you, okay? Can't say I never warned you. Can't say I never warned you, all right? So, guys, it's your boy, Dom. Subscribe if you new, like the video if you haven't yet done so. And uh, until my next one, peace out. Rich squad, we're cooking, baby. We're cooking.